we do now find that we can access the Elements tab inside of our Chrome Developer Tools when we're debugging the Android application. So let's start off by saying TNS Debug Android on one of our native script apps. What this does is starts up the live reload server as before and runs our application on a device or on an emulator. But at the same time, it also gives us this native script debugger link. And as you can see here, to start debugging, open the following URL in Chrome. So if we navigate to this URL inside of Chrome, you can see that we have a list of elements. One contains the action bar and the other is the view container. And the view container, because we are starting a sample NG or Angular application. So as you can see, it's the standard Angular template. We can select a particular player and then go back to the list. So if we change this title now to be native script, you'll notice that this changes on our application, but we don't have to restart our app. Evidently, the changes aren't persisted to file either. So it's the same as your normal Chrome DevTools elements experience. So for example, if we restart the app, it will go back to being my app. We could also head back over to the developer tools and go to our proxy view container. And we can edit, remove, or do what you want with things like the label here. So we could change this label text to instead be Paul Halliday. And as you can see, this is updated in real time on our application. As well as that, we can see things like the stack. So for example, we start at the page, we go to our proxy view container, stack layout, list view, another stack layout, and then our label. So we do have a lot of power and functionality inside of our elements. Then of course, as well as elements, we still do have things like the console which if you've not used the Chrome developer tools with your native script apps, you'll definitely find this very useful. Overall, it's a great release for Android and it keeps the platform growing and that's what's important. We will of course see iOS in a later release, apparently most likely 3.2. So do expect iOS later on in the year. So that's how we use the elements tab inside of native script 3.1.